Huh? How's it made? Now today, I thought we'd take a closer look at something right under our feet. Carpet! Oh, now, how do you suppose that's made? Let's find out. Step one. Carpets are made out of an enormous quantity of yarn. That's a tufty thread that might be a natural material like wool or a manufactured synthetic material. Whichever it is, the yarn is wound onto a lot of spools. Oh, these are small rollers from which the carpet will be woven. Step two. The back of the carpet will be a tough material such as a polypropylene or a natural fibre like jute. It needs to be strong to hold the yarn firmly in place and withstand lots of wear and tear. Step three. Now it's time to weave the carpet. This process is called tufting. Hundreds of needles stitch the yarn to the backing material. The more needles per centimetre, the more luxurious the carpet will feel. Cameras watch the weave, and if any yarn breaks, it can be quickly replaced. And to make sure the stitches don't come loose, a further backing layer will be glued to the underside. Step 4 Some carpets are one colour. Some have very fancy patterns. Computers will direct the machinery how, when and where to use different colour yarns in the weaving process. Step 5 Sometimes screen printing is used to print a pattern. This requires a special dye. And once the pattern is printed on, it'll need to be thoroughly dried. Step 6 The final stage is to give the carpet a shave to make sure it has an even finish. And then it'll be steamed to fix the yarn into its shape forever. It's then rolled up and ready for dispatch to the shops. Carpets have been around almost as long as there have been houses and originally would have been woven by hand. Now I must get on, but come back soon and find out more about manufacturing with my splendid stipendiary compendium. How's it made? With support from the Royal Commission for the 1851 Exhibition. Find out more at funkidslive.com.